Yo, what's going on YouTube, your boy King Mo. Welcome back to another video. And if you guys are new to the channel, please do drop a little like and drop a little subscribe, guys. It's free and you can always unsubscribe in the future. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers and I'm really, really hoping that we can hit this soon, guys. You guys have been showing crazy, crazy support recently on the channel. And honestly, I can't, I can't thank you enough. Honestly, like the love that everyone's been showing me is crazy, but... We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so if you guys are subscribed already and you have friends who play FIFA Ultimate Team, who want tips and tricks, um, or just gameplay videos, you know, entertainment, content, so, you know, let them know about my channel. And like I said, you can always unsubscribe in the future if you guys do wish to do so. And anyway, we are here with a video. It is a 4 triple two custom tactics video. Now, a lot of people have been struggling in foot champs. I hear my friends all the time raging foot champs. I hear a lot of people on Twitch. Every time I'm watching someone on Twitch, they're always raging foot champs because Team of the Season, obviously, everyone's stressing about Team of the Season foot champs rewards. And as you can see, guys, Friday is the big day, ultimate Team of the Season. And I know everyone wants to finish the highest rank possible. I know it's gonna be a it's gonna be a sweat fest, man, honestly. But I just want to let you guys know something, yeah. I think I have the best formations in the game as my custom tactics. I've already released a 4231. I've already released a 41212 narrow. I have not released um, the 4222 yet. I'm gonna do that in this video and I've released a 352 already. So I want to show you guys the 4222 that has been working out for me. This is the team right now at the moment, guys. Um, we did pick up Pele. He's a very good player. I'm not going to lie. Pele is very fun to use. We did have Paqueta here, but we ended up uh, selling him because he is going to be an ultimate team season. Uh, we'll probably get him back in the weekend, but this is the team I'm using for this champs. I don't know who I'm going to get here, guys. I don't know. I'm not too sure, but uh, let's get straight into it. So the custom tactics for the forward triple two, guys. This is what I've been using, um, especially when I just want to take control of a game, right? So basically what I use is the 4 3 one especially when I uh, want to have a good start in a game. Basically, the 4 triple two is when I want to, you know, kind of regain momentum in a game, especially after, let's say, for example, I'm conceding a lot of chances, maybe not a goal, but I'm conceding a lot of opportunities for my opponent to score. You know, obviously, I do want to try and avoid that as much as possible. So we go, we're going to go with balance, defensive style. We're going to go with width 47, and we're going to go with depth 57. Now, um, I think this is the best width and depth combination for this type of formation. Um, I have tried a bit wider and I have tried a bit higher up depth wise, but I mean, it's not really, it's not really necessary, especially with this type of team. Um, I know a lot of people have fast center backs, so there's no point really having a low depth in this game. You might as well just have a high depth, especially with all of the 90 plus or 85 plus pace center backs in the game. And um, obviously the width, you don't want to be too wide, but you don't want to be too narrow because obviously this is not exactly a wide or narrow formation. It's kind of a balance of both. And um, so build up play, we go with balance and chance creation. We go with direct passing. Now, like I said, I say this in every single tactics video, guys. This is basically ideal for strikers with good attack positioning. So for example, let me go and show you guys my striker in this formation who is Pele who has 94 attack position and a 99 with a hawk. Basically, it is, it's basically for the players with high attack positioning, which is pretty much all of the best strikers in the game anyway. Um, it helps their movement in the box or around the box. It helps them get in behind. It helps them create extra chances, especially when uh, you do need it with your cat or with your cams who have the ball uh, out wide. Uh, and then if you want to go with 50, you don't want to be wide, but you don't want to be narrow. Again, you just want to have a nice and easy players on box we're gonna go four now i don't want to get hit on no counter attacks guys so make sure it's on four players in box make sure the only players in box that are running in is the, your two strikers and your left cam and your right cam that's about it you don't want anyone else running in be into the box maybe your box to box center mid who i'm going to show in this video but other than that you don't want anyone else running in guys trust me you're going to get hit on counter attacks with this formation so you want to be careful with how you pick your attacks and when you want to attack with a lot of players. So uh, this is how the team plays out. Obviously, I had Paqueta there as my left DM, but this is how the team plays out in game for me. And then this is where we get into it. So you want to go with stay back while attacking on Carlos Alberto or your right back and left back stay back while attacking as well. We already have the width, so we don't need to have overlapping fullbacks. Obviously, if we're playing a narrow formation like 4 on 2 on 2 narrow, you would need overlapping fullbacks to create the extra width that you need in the team. 
But other than that, you don't really need any uh, extra width in the team. So just keep your fullbacks on stay back. You want to have one or both of your DMs actually on stay back while attacking and cover centre. Now in my other, in my 4-2-3-1 uh, custom tactics, I have one DM on stay back. But in this, guys, you want to make sure you have two or both of your centre back or uh, CDMs staying back while attacking. This formation, you want to make sure that you have both your DMs and stay back while attacking and cover centre. Obviously, we're trying to preserve... Um, the counter attacks man we don't want no counter attacks coming our way so make sure you guys stay with stay back while attacking on both of your dms no matter what the defensive awareness is on your other dm because normally in my other formations i run one defensive midfielder and one box to box type of player with a bit less defending than the one with uh stay back but in this situation here it doesn't matter what just make sure both of them are stay back while attacking okay now you want to go with your left cam get into box for cross they act as if they're cutting inside pretty much but without the ball so pretty much when i'm running down either wing the opposite wing will create an extra option and run into the box and same with uh the right cam as well get into box for cross so again the opposite side say maradona has the ball and he's running down the wing i get into the box for a pass opportunity or crossing opportunity and rodrigo will burst into the box and find a space and provide an extra option and then you want to have one striker on getting behind and stay forward so in this case i have pele you want to make sure you're quicker faster stronger you know better shooting striker is getting behind and then you want to make sure that your playmaker type striker is in just completely balanced so in this case obviously pele is a bit of both right he's a bit of a getting behind striker and he's a playmaking striker as well he can play that because of his high passing stats but in any case in, in case you have players like Mbappe for example or Neymar let's say you have a front two of Neymar and Mbappe you want to make sure Mbappe is getting behind stay forward and then you want to make sure Cruyff is just on balance or Neymar or whoever you have on balance uh, whoever is better on the ball and passing wise out of the two you want to make sure you're on balance the other one who is more powerful getting behind you want to have one getting behind but like I said, in this case, I have Pele in getting behind. I know he's better than Cruyff at the playmaking, but he's also better than Cruyff at the, at the shooting. And he's quicker as well. So I have Pele in getting behind and I have Cruyff as the balanced striker. So those are the tactics, guys. Those are the tactics to help you get more wins and foot champs. Hopefully, everyone has a great foot champs this week. Obviously, it's impossible to have a great foot champs overall, but hopefully, you guys get the ranks that you want and the rewards that you guys want. If you guys want more videos like this, then please do leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next. And I'm out. Peace, guys. See you later.